Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ripple delete function in Fimura 12. Okay, so ripple delete function is very interesting. By the way, if you don't know how to use it, it can be annoying to you. It takes about three minutes to understand the function. So hopefully it is helpful for you. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my Fimura trial example project. And first thing first, if I want to use the repo delete function, I can turn on this auto repo button on the left side of the timeline. Okay, so this chain, we can click to turn it on or turn it off. For example, now I'm going to turn it on and let's split the video right here and at this position. Now, if I delete this part on the timeline, everything on the right will move to the left. Okay, for example, I can just press the delete button on my keyboard. So you can see that everything on the right move to the left and stick together with this part on the left side. Okay, so that is the delete button with this auto repo button turn on. Okay, and let's press Ctrl Z. And now what if I turn it off? For example, if I turn it off and then I delete this part, no thing is moving. Okay, so for example, I can delete this part. And now you see the empty gap here. So this is a black screen. And now you need to close this gap with the repo delete function. You have to right click here at the empty gaps and then you want to select repo delete. So it is the same with repo delete function. By the way, I'm going to undo it. And if you use normal delete button, your timeline will be out of scenes. For example, I can just press the delete button here and you can see that the video here on the right side is moving to the left, but the title, the B-roll is still at the same position. Okay. Let's Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z again. And in some cases, your ripple delete button is not working. It is just because of the background music here. For example, this is the background music. If I turn it on and now if I use the ripple delete function, it will not work. For example, here I can right click at this part and then I can select ripple delete here. So this is ripple delete function. By the way, it will not work. Okay, just click here. And you can see here, nothing is moving and we still have the empty gaps right here. Okay, let's control Z to undo it. So you want to use the repo delete function with the background music. You have to lock the background music track right here. Just lock it. And now you can use the repo delete function. For example, I can press delete button. That is repo delete. Okay. And finally, if you want to set a keyboard shortcut for your repo delete function, all you need to do is to go to file and then you want to select this one keyboard shortcut. Okay. And now you want to select edit and you see uh, we will have the repo delete function here. You can just click here and then select a keyboard shortcut on your keyboard. Okay. And then you're going to click. Okay. So that is a uh, small tips about using ripple delete function in Fimura 12. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.